In this video, we're gonna do a week in the life where I bring you along and it's mostly going to be a cleaning inspiring video. A cleaning inspired video, cleaning inspiring video. <laughs> Clean with me, clean with me inspiration, whatever you call these videos. Besides that, there's one tip I want to share that has really helped transform the way I keep my house. It's just one small change and this has helped me be able to much better manage being a mom of two littles, running a house and also like running my YouTube channel and a business that we have. And so there's so many things to juggle and I was often feeling overwhelmed. And this one little change has been one of the steps that has really, really been helping me. So that's what I wanna share in this video. If this is your first time here, my name is Janine. This is my channel, The Mennonite Mom. It's a lifestyle channel where I share like everything around mom life. Um, and especially my life as a Mennonite mom. Right out of the gate, I want to share this tip before we jump into cleaning. If you're a mom, or even if you're not a mom, most of us women tend to be the ones that are the main ones in charge of the house, keeping it clean. My husband does a great job in helping me, but I'm still the main one that does it all. And so sometimes it just gets so much to just like keep your house clean and feeling presentable and all the other responsibilities of life, whether it's children, like if you're like me and are a mom, that's a huge one, or just you know, other things, keeping food in the house, running businesses, maybe you work away from home, so many things. So here is one little change, and it's not like super revolutionary, but it is for me. Here's one little change that I did that has really, really helped me. It has its pros and its cons, which I'm going to share at the end of the video. But for right now, what is this tip? And the simple, basic change that I made was instead of trying to focus on cleaning my entire house in one day, I take it in small bite-sized steps throughout the week. And that is why I'm gonna bring you along and share with you my schedule Monday through Friday. And stick around to the end and we're gonna talk about this a little bit more. And I'm like, oh, this is my clean house. I just clean it. Like, can't you see? Can't you take care? Can't you just, ugh. Monday is wash day, so I like to start off the day sorting wash and getting things going. I don't have a large laundry room, so sorting usually gets done in one of the main living areas. Now in the past, I've had a bad habit of letting laundry drag out all week long, so recently I've been trying to hit my goal of having all the washed, or at least most of it, completed in one day. It's such a good feeling when it happens, and it's part of this new schedule I'm trying to maintain. You know what the funny thing is? I had like all my towels hung up and I realized that my camera was not on autofocus and everything was blurry, so I took the towels all back down again and hung them up just for you all. So thank me. That is the joys of the vlog and why things take so much longer when you film. Here's the question. If you're not wearing a pair of really ugly but comfortable Crocs when you're hanging out your wash, are you even living your best life? Just look at the style of this. They even like perfectly clash with my dress, like, Crocs, woohoo! <laughs> so ugly, so comfortable. Planning out a week of meals can still be kind of a hit and miss with me, but I love when I do it. So today I tackled planning out menus while at the same time ordering the groceries I needed on Instacart. My fridge was bare, by the way. While I try to watch how often I use Instacart, it sure is a huge time saver for busy moms, and with a full week ahead, I was getting my groceries delivered this day. What is it? <gasps> An energy drink! <laughs> Thank you, buddy! How did you do, know Mom One and One? Because <laughs> huh? I'm always asking you to go get them. Um, okay. Yeah, I parked my e bike. Mm -hmm. And I got you your favorite kind, the peach kind. The peach kind. Well, thank you, bud. I love that. It's so special of you. Now, along with laundry, I cleaned two additional rooms on Mondays. And these rooms don't take too long to finish. The first is our laundry room, which I call the mud room. Just as its name suggests, it's a rather grungy looking room that is actually an enclosed porch where all the boots, coats, shoes, and you name it reside. I hope to someday redo it, paint the walls, floors, and so on. But for now, this is what I have. I simply do a quick wipe down of the sink, washer and dryer, sills, etc., and then sweep. I don't bother washing the floor, gross, I know, but it's rough cement meant for the outdoors and it really needs a hose to clean it. It's in desperate need of a major hose down, but for now, it is what I have and I am thankful for it. The second room I like to clean on Mondays is our back room, which is basically an office, playroom, and storage area all combined into one. I like to tidy up and put things back where they belong, dust and sweep, and now and again I will wash the floor, but it has very little dirty traffic, so I only do that periodically. 
Also, we just did a small makeover in this room, which you are seeing some of it now, but I'm hiding a fun little project we made for Xander, which I plan to show that in a future video. <laughs> For Tuesdays, I leave this as a grab bag kind of day for things such as cleaning windows or decluttering a section of my house. My windows are in dire need of cleaning as you can see by Lexi's favorite eating spot where she loves watching the birds while smearing up my window. So today I'm tackling the kitchen windows, but first I'm going to try out a new cleaner. Since this week's video is about cleaning inspiration, let me introduce you to Blue Land. They sent me this package and I'm going to test it out and let you know what I think of them. Blue Land creates everyday cleaning products to save you money and space without any plastic waste. They are also EPA certified, which means scientists have evaluated every ingredient in the product to make sure it meets Safer Choices stringent criteria. One thing I really like is that they have no single-use plastic in anything, from bottles, tablets, wrappers, and even shipping material, so you stop paying for all those wasteful plastic bottles that you end up throwing away anyway, which is a waste of money and adds to the pollutants. And also, many of your typical cleaners range from $3 to $6 or more for a bottle of cleaner or hand soap, but with Blue Land, it's just $2.25 a refill. All you need to clean your house or your hand is this nickel-sized tablet. So you take your forever bottle and you fill it with warm, to hot water. Drop one of the tablets into the water bottle and you don't need to shake or stir. They say it will dissolve in a few minutes, but uh, it takes a little bit more, like 15 to 30 minutes. Not a big deal to me, but it didn't take that long and everything is dissolved and ready to go. So throughout this video, I'm going to be using the products and in the end, give you my opinions on their effectiveness, scents, etc. And if you're interested, all you have to do is click my link below to get 15% off your first kit. Blue Land is sharing a special offer just for you guys. So this Tuesday, I'm only tackling the kitchen windows, which are the dirtiest, because this old farmhouse has about 30 windows in total, so I rarely tackle them all in one day. Um, so yeah, that laundry that was supposed to get done on Monday, well, that didn't happen. <laughs> So here I am playing catch up. In my defense, Monday had been really busy as I had to run Xander somewhere for part of a day. Anyway, also here I am trying to wrap up some details for a three day trip that's coming around the corner. Wow, this past year has been the year to travel apparently. However, this one is for a different reason and I'm a bit apprehensive about it to be honest. All right, sounds good. Well, thank you so, so much. Take care. Hey, hey we got our ticket. Hey, super excited, man, I cannot wait. Girls trip coming up. Confession, that's staged, I'm sitting right here. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right, so I have been working really hard the last while at a product that I'm super excited to share with you guys. It's to go with my YouTube channel. And I'm taking like my passion of like being a mom and all that entails along with an other thing that I'm super passionate about, which I'll let you guys, sorry about the background noise, which I'll let you guys kind of guess what that might be. And I wanna bring those two things together and create something that I hope is a unique experience for some of you if you feel like trying it out. Anyway, the trip that we just booked is a business trip. It doesn't suit for Nolan to go along, just because of different things I'll be sharing later. The children will be staying back as well. It's like a quick weekend. You all's favorite friend of mine, which is Raquel Whitmer. She's agreeing to go along. She's so good in these types of countries. And we're gonna go together, two ladies alone. Are we crazy? We're gonna go together on a little business trip and then one day hopefully we'll have a little fun together so it's not all business related. But yeah, I'm excited to share with you what I've been up to for the last while, but it's still gonna be a little bit. So we'll just give a little teaser in here. So excited! Do you think our husbands can survive? Our husbands and kids can survive without us for three days? Man, Russ, I mean, hey, he left me for two weeks on a hunting trip, so. Hey, that is three true. Little, three little days, it's not gonna hurt him. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Do you think you can, you think you can be without mom for three days? First time. I know. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know, I have a website called the Mennonite. I have a website called the Mennonitemom.com. You can subscribe to our mailing list. Yeah, hi. Say hi. If you subscribe to our email list, I send out an email on Fridays when I upload, just in case you miss it, because YouTube can actually not recommend. So if you don't want to miss an upload, subscribe. But also, 
what could possibly be taking us out of the country, me and a friend of mine? Like, what are we up to? <laughs> anyway, we are gonna be doing an announcement to our email list ahead of time before we actually launch. And so it's gonna be kind of like an exclusive pre-launch. We'll have some sales and discounts and you'll get a peek into it. Uh, we'll probably have like a video that's not actually live on this YouTube channel and give our mailing subscription the first peek into what we're up to. So if you would like to be a part of our subscription where we have weekly, sometimes twice a week updates, and you would like to get in ahead and see what we're up to, um, head on over there and subscribe. So it's themennonightmom.com and subscribe to our mailing list. <laughs> yes, say yes, don't go like that. Say yes, yes. <laughs> she's saying don't do it, don't do it. She's learning this new thing where she shakes her head. Lexi go, ooh, 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 you do it. Lexi do it. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> anyway, we need to get making supper. We're having salmon and asparagus and um, sweet potatoes. So, yay. Asparagus. Yucky. Mom said I can maybe have a bite or two. Oh. <laughs> welcome to Wednesday. It's actually noon already. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Wednesday. It's been a productive morning. I've been doing a lot of design work, getting some things wrapped up. But anyway, Wednesdays, for my little chunk of cleaning today. I like to do all the carpeted areas, which is like the upstairs bedrooms, downstairs living areas, steps, hallways. So I like to just dust, sweep, maybe water my plants. Lexi just woke up from her nap. I usually like to tackle the cleaning parts of the day right after her first morning nap because she's usually fairly happy and get it knocked out before her second nap. And then because after she wakes up from her second nap, it's usually time to start making meals and that kind of thing. So that is what's on for Wednesday. In all things, in all things, in all things, you're working it out, working it out. In all things, all things, in all things, you're working it out, working it out. I'm guessing that was about an hour or so and I am finished with all the carpeted main areas. So an hour every day is about the kind of window I can expect on normal days with Lexi, my youngest, until she starts getting kind of fussy and needs me around a lot more. So um, she was getting fussy and I have her downstairs eating a hard boiled egg and cheese right now and I was able to quickly wind up. It normally probably wouldn't take me an hour if I didn't have children but you know the squabbles, the crying, and with a six-year-old that has to say, mom, come look at this coolest thing that I ever did do, then, you know, all those little things end up taking a while. So I figure out in about an hour. The lift starts going lower because mm -hmm. it goes low like an airplane because it goes low like an airplane because it likes... Welcome to Thursday. On Thursdays, I usually try to do the kitchen. And today, I'm excited to be trying out the multi-surface cleaner from Blue Land, and I'll let you know what I think. It is currently 3.35. I'm going to see if I can beat the time and get this kitchen done by 4.30. I like to set like little mini goals. It seems to help me. And no sooner have I turned off the camera, ready to get started, and she pulled Xander's bubble mix down, and it's dripping all over the floor, so. That's why things take so long <laughs> when you have a little schmuffin. Look at her sticky uppy hair. And you have a crusty face. <laughs> I need to get you cleaned up. Yes, I do. Oh, bubbly. You crazy baby. Yes, you crazy baby. You crazy little baby. Yes, it's slippy. All right, a few minutes behind schedule, but let's get into this. I should have thought it 
bit slippy and the little baby fell. Oh no. Oh no. All right, I got her playing toys. Let's see how quickly I can clean up. It's these little things. It's these little things. about 10 minutes in. So far I've just picked up a few things to take care of the baby. So it's 4.30, I'm not finished, figures. But maybe we can shoot for another, I'm guessing 15, 20 minutes. kitchen done in right around maybe a little bit over an hour and a half so much for the hour huh I just love little baby hair sticking out over everything <laughs> baby hair coming back in so today's actually Saturday normally I try to clean bathrooms on Friday which is the last step I like to save bathrooms for the last just in case you have like guests over the weekend Bathrooms are just kind of the place you want the cleanest. So um, I am going to try out Blue Lens bathroom cleaner. I've been looking forward to this. It's going to be kind of my deciding factor if I like them or not because bathrooms are usually the toughest parts to clean, especially the bathtub. So we'll give it a whirl. I'm just trying to stay awake. The other day I was up till like four in the morning almost working at trying to finish one little part of a design for product packaging. So not so glamorous, but I do want to get this bathroom cleaned. I usually like to start with like the sinks, the mirrors, um, the not so dirty stuff first, and then just progressively get to like the bathtub and then the pots. Uh, and then we also have like um, a big jacuzzi tub in our bedroom. So we have like a half bath over there. Not really a half bath, because it's not even a commode, so. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just rambling. I just want to sleep. Give me sleep. Oh. I really like the smell of the hand soap and it foams really nicely so that is a big hit. Finally done with cleaning. So what are my honest thoughts about Blue Lind? First off, I love their packaging idea. Secondly, if my nose is working properly, which is not quite probably as well as everyone else, but I do love their scents. I'm not as huge of a fan of the bathroom scented cleaner. There was something in it I didn't quite like but I really like the multi-purpose cleaning set. So one of the things that I first noticed right away is that they're not as sudsy, which often is the case when you're going with more healthier minded options, like safer options. But I felt it did a really good job cleaning here in the kitchen. I used a multi-purpose cleaner. It shined really well my appliances, and I always use microfiber. I'm a huge fan of Norwex microfiber uh, rags. I hardly use much of anything else. Anyway, so I cleaned with that and everything was really shiny. Um, as far as the glass cleaner, I will tell you, I basically never use glass cleaner. I just use rags and water. So I use a Norwex rag, so I have nothing to say against it. It worked fine, um, but I normally don't use it. So to me, it's kind of meh, neither here nor there. I didn't really need it, but I can't say it didn't work because it, it worked fine. The bathroom cleaner, first I was like, I'm not sure if this is gonna clean as well. I'm not sure if, uh, yeah, and then I started, started using it on the ring in my big whirlpool, which has a pretty big substantial soap ring, and it just came right off, so I was quite happy with it. But to me, the biggest pro is the fact that I can easily breathe this and clean with it, and it doesn't, like, affect me. Like, so often, different types of cleaners, even some that claim they're natural, they just tend to like get in my throat and I'm like choking and gagging and coughing, which is why I rarely use cleaners. And I love that about them. It was like a more of a fresh scent and I was just having a good time cleaning with it without feeling like it's like 
harming me and like causing me to like not be able to breathe. So that is like the biggest plus. That's what I love. But if you're looking for something with like a ton of elbow grease and lots of suds, which is usually like the harsh chemicals in a product, this probably isn't for you. But if you're looking for more of a safer option, something that's better for the planet, definitely check it out. I'll have links down below. So what are the pros and cons of taking bite-sized chunks of my house throughout the week? Let's talk about the cons first and get them out of the way. There's basically just two that come to mind. The first one is you're always cleaning a little bit every day, which can get old, especially for me because I'm not one that enjoys cleaning. Second con is you never quite have your whole house cleaned exactly at the same time and have this feeling of, wow, the entire house is clean from top to bottom right now in this moment. So those are basically the two cons, and I couldn't really think of any others. Now let's jump into the pros of doing it this way. So the first pro, you don't get so overwhelmed, at least for me with little children. It used to take me maybe three, four hours to clean my whole house. Now with all the interruptions and everything, it takes all day, and I'm so tired and exhausted to the end of the day. And then also, I tend to start cutting corners and not cleaning everything well just because I wanna get done and I'm so tired and yeah. Another pro of doing it this way is your house is constantly feeling a little bit clean. You know how it is when there's like a section that is clean and, you're, and it kind of feels like the rest of the house is clean. So if I know that my bedroom and the upstairs is all clean and fresh and everything is just feels amazing, it somehow helps me deal a little bit more with if the downstairs is cluttered and dirty. And the other pro is, is it tends to be when you're cleaning one section and that part of the house is clean, you tend to be a little quicker, at least for my personality, is to keep up with the rest of the house. Like keep it more tidy and just cleaned up more than just, okay, well the whole house is dirty, so who cares, right? An other pro, when you work so hard and you put so much sweat and tears, sorry, I'm really exaggerating here, but for me anyway, my stage of life, cleaning the entire house in one day is a big undertaking. Anyway, and so, by the time you're done, it finally feels all clean, and then here comes all your little cyclones through the house. It tends to make me so frustrated, and I'm like, oh, this is my clean house. I just clean it. Like, can't you see? Can't you take care? Can't you just, ooh, you know? And like my stress, uh? And it's one of those things that's been hard for me to just let go. So you work so hard, and then here comes the fingerprints and the dirt and the mud and everything. So there is something about when you clean throughout the week just one little bit here and there. You don't have quite that, I work so hard all day at this and now look at what you all are doing. Because it's just little sections at a time and you're not quite so invested in it. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but I don't feel like I get so quickly impatient when they come in and just live life, you know? It still gets frustrating, especially in a certain cleaned area, but it doesn't feel like it's quite such an attack on your day of just hard labor. And the other thing right along with that, talking about stress and impatience, is when my environment is clean and tidy, at least my level of clean and tidy, I am so much more of a relaxed mom. And I can't be that way if it's too long, too messy. And then also when I have to do this big thing at the end of the week, I'm also stressed out because that's so much work. And so if you take the stress away of having this huge ordeal at the end of the week, and you like split it throughout the week, then all your days are a little more relaxed. It kind of helps the stress level in all those areas and helps with patience. At least that's what we're working on. So yeah, those are kind of the pros and cons, and I think there's more, but it's kind of my feeling, and I know there's like programs out there like Fly Lady, I think there's another one that people talk about, but it was always kind of hard for me to just like look at this big book and see her spreadsheet and her organizing, and I'm not really that type of person. I need to come up with my own thing that works for me, and something simple, and instead of like this categorized thing where you, you know, do all these things her way, it never quite resonated with me. So for me, it was easier to say Monday is the laundry room and the back room for us. Tuesday is a random day where I can either do windows or declutter. Um, often I tend to just use that as a free day, but I'm trying to get over that habit. Uh, Wednesdays I like to do all the carpeted areas like living rooms upstairs because they're very quick to just send a sweeper over like over the weekend if someone's coming around. Thursdays is the kitchen. That's kind of the big cleaning one. And then Fridays, the bathrooms and have the bathrooms more clean so that if guests come, they're at least presentable. To me, that was an easy way to just splice everything up and make it work. And then the nice thing is every day I can get to mostly and you know do little bits and pieces of the things that um, I kind of enjoy. And then I feel fine and I feel free to be working at say YouTube videos and the other things that are my extras and my business. I don't feel quite so uptight and stressed out because all the other things are, are flowing well and then I can focus on, on 
you know, business things and whatever. And there's one thing I want to say before I let you go, and that is don't expect yourself to like get into a new habit just right away overnight. I tend to like hold myself like, okay, I'm gonna try this new thing, and you plow into it, and then it doesn't work, and then you're like, that wasn't for me. I heard this concept about just changing something a little bit, like a one percent of a change in the right direction a day eventually turns into like a whole hundred percent makeover and I began finding that I'm like you know what I need to um, celebrate the little changes I haven't gotten to this I've been working at this for months now and I'm still not there where I consistently do this every week but I've been seeing progress from where I was however many weeks ago it's been slowly following into more of a routine I've been finding what I like what I don't and I've just been kind of slowly working at this so just start at the bottom, don't expect a huge change. Just start with what works for you and just expect a small one. And eventually you might wake up a few years later and you're like, you know what? I kind of eased into this um, change and into this habit and I love it. And I think there's different aspects in my life I'm trying that more as well. Like with my health, I'm really trying to lose weight. I'm almost at my pre-pregnancy weight with Lexi and I still have a long ways to go. So with my health issues and so many other things, I've gained so much weight and I lose weight really hard and anyway it's a story for another time but I'm trying some different habits with that as well and if it's successful I will share it with you but I've been learning that with my personality I tend to jump into things like just wide open I have to do it this way I have to like just do it right away and we're gonna change everything overnight 100% right now and that does not work it has to be little micro steps and think about how you want your life to be in the future and then start making um, those types of changes you see yourself doing in the future right now and slowly but surely you'll work your way to that hopefully so just my little thing for the day and if you want to see a skinnier version of me also a younger version of Xander this is one of the first videos right here I think this is one of the first videos that I put out it's a clean with me mother-in-law version that kind of blew up my channel and caused it to grow in the beginning and some people keep coming back to it and saying we just keep re-watching this video it's kind of a funny little one we did so if you want to watch it check it out here see you guys next time